Yeah, probably gonna. It is what it is with the the schedule, but uh, and, and uh, not all weeks are gonna be on Substack or on, on ideas that I find that engaging. But but today, um, with the topic of of, of uh this week's topic, I I, I think it's pretty cool, and I I definitely like to vocalize it and just to see if there's any any feedback or you know to get to get thoughts uh, about it. Uh, but today's topic is uh, this week's, I should say, um, is that Discord. It's been in the news. I think like a couple of weeks ago, there was uh, a bit of a bidding war for companies to acquire it. Uh, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, um, and and it's really, um, yesterday the the journal came out saying that they weren't going to get acquired. Um, and uh, like the Discord was going it alone. I mean, pre presumably uh, lining up for an IPO, for direct private IPO to raise capital. Uh, but and certainly on that note, instead of being a tech company, um, you know, a lot, a lot of tech companies advertise or brag about like their daily active users or like and that they have daily active users as one thing, but as a separate entity, you have subscribing, paying subscribers, and so like. And so like Facebook, daily active users, Netflix, subscribers, as we've seen from like a, a pretty, like a 10%, uh, yeah, in Netflix case, like, uh, it was like a down 10%, uh, after hours yesterday, but it's so certainly like, in the, in, like, so from that perspective, there's like distinct business models of certainly like. Like for Facebook, it's like aggregating as many people, building up that network effect, increasing the, you know, the advertising premise, um, or, or which is what Facebook mainly is. We'll see. It's, it's to be seen what how they pivot into more commerce. Um, but we have like Netflix, right? which is very, uh, very much. I mean, it's just subscriptions. And then you have like a Spotify, which which kind of is a hybrid in that there's the free model, which is supported by ads, but you know, it's, but yeah, it's you know that, that it's arguably like a net loss. It's it's not a profit from free users, um, and it's sorry, sorry that dis disappoints stakeholders from from the music industry. Uh, um, and they have a subscription model which uh, holds it too. Um, but but the thing that but the point of this paper is that you think about it, like daily active users are only effective up to the point to the degree that that they allow for future monetization and that the daily active users in and of themselves should not be the end goal just having a billion users doesn't really mean much it's argue it's a net negative in fact if you're just eating all having to do all of these fixed costs to handle um, a billion users if you can't monetize it or if you can't generate the value from that unless you're running a philanthropy or like a, like signal um which is completely separate but conceivably that's not going to have a a billion uh, users and so the idea like when it comes to like discord is how you know people were saying how like oh no if like discord changes its policies and monetize changes and people start leaving that means it's the doom of the platform and i think this like not necessarily because like the way discord is it's very segmented in that your population on discord it's 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 segmented and that like one server's users don't necessarily interact with any other servers so like so, so the network effect is completely separate from the platform and it's completely dependent on um, more so very specific communities that are established outside of the platform, the environment. And from that, in that case, then you don't really need like an insane amount of users um, because like everything's going to be fragmented. So, and so, and so the idea then is that for discord, them monetizing, like the, the pressures of, of monetization on users, is essentially compartmentalized to each community and odds are 
that the more devoted communities already would be willing to have the, to have the capacity and the desire to be monetized to receive the, the benefits and perks. And and so from that, then really like for Discord, if you have a hundred using small numbers because it's easier to wrap your head around. But so so for Discord, like having a hundred servers of which of which ten you know actually generate revenue, while the rest of the ninety are just free free models that take up backend resources. Um, and, and those 90 servers, those 100 servers don't even really interact with one another. Like, like there's no interactive, very segmented community based, right? Which naturally creates barriers. And so the Discord platform itself, it's, it's limited in, in moving around and finding the new servers organically inside the platform. And, and so from that, then, if, if you have 90 free riders, 10 paying, then like, sure, that's great. You have 100 say that 10,000 users among those hundred communities but then but 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 then if you can have the same but if you if you start to 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 ramp to to apply pressure through monetization through more by moving free features to nitro the, the subscription service for discord then what so and the, oh no the doomsday of users leaving uh dwindles from say there being 100 total to 50 just again abstract numbers to 50 but then 10 and 40 so still still 10 you know maybe maybe in fact you know presumably like people would have switched to nitro to you know for those increased increased value proposition but just just for the sake you're still doing 10 and 40 presumably that 10 would have increased so it'd be 15 35 etc but but then you're taking up less backend resources. The still the core focus of this court, which is on specialized communities, still exists. If anything, the value proposition for those communities has increased because they have more tools now in this court by having more monetization can, can cause a virtuous cycle of improved functionality and features for paying users. And, and so, I mean, for a and. Now, of course, that, that this is, of course, specifically focusing on Discord's model, which is different. But I like Facebook, like if, if Facebook's model crosses its uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, like WhatsApp tried to, like, like it doesn't, like the monetization requires network effects and, and more users and uh, engagement. And but the, the same goes for Twitter, etc. which is why, you know, subscription models are, you know, it, it haven't really been brought up. Although Twitter, I suppose, is, is a bit different. But in that, but in, in so the overall premise being that just active users in and of themselves, like it shouldn't be, it's a, it's a cool number to like brag about, but in and of itself, it's a very limited construct. And, and it, we always have to think that to, 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 to look past the not the shiny number and to actually look at, actually look at like, like what the end goal is, like how do those users create value? And, and on the second hand, certainly, uh, certainly as a consumer ourselves, and what is the value creation of that? And certainly as a user, um, as a user of Discord, it's pretty evident that the communities are segmented. There are there's a, there's very little cross blending, um, and so I, especially in like the communities that one would spend the most time in, um, and, and so measures that could alienate parts of the community really aren't the death knell as as it would seem on the surface. So that, that was the idea for the this the idea. Uh, that was the uh, idea. And I guess quickly to hash up as a, the thunderstorm just ended, so I'm trying to get on do a walk before class. Uh, so you have users and subscriptions. I'm just contrasting the different models. Uh, uh, segmented communities talk about the network effects. And 
last one. Uh, well, this would be a five. This would be a five paragraph essay. Let's go for it. And Accord, because you know, Discord referred to it as Decord. Some people do, I, I guess. Um, but that's the idea, that's the focus of this week. So, T uh, TLDR or TL too long, TLDW too long, didn't watch. Uh, pretty much daily active users, it's a good number, and conceivably, you do want to reach a, a certain mass, but let's say at a certain point. You know, just have to keep in mind, like, what is the end game? How did how do you create value from a user base? And for different companies, um, it's going to be different. For like Facebook, like arguably, like that number is essentially infinite, and in that more users, the better. Whereas for something like Discord, a, a bit more malleable. But thanks for watching. Yeah, please definitely. I'm happy to see if if this if, if this take is wrong or is off center somewhere. And and hey, after this, I'm gonna go hop in hop into Discord myself. So, you know, have a good day, guys. Continue to be safe. Oh man, I'll catch you guys uh, whenever.